All right, welcome back. Uh, the turbine conversion of the free wing Zeus is completed, and uh, hopefully I can fly it tomorrow. Uh, all in all, I was really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I thought it was going to need a lot of ballast up front, but uh, it only ended up needing two ounces. I just bored some holes right there, kind of at an angle to clear the uh, gear door servo. Worked out just fine, so I was really happy with just two ounces. Uh, overall, there's you know, I mean, there's a ton of room inside of this thing. Um, you know, everything's pretty much you know as far forward as you can get it that to make it worthwhile. Um, you know, the bay up here, it's all uh, landing gear real estate, so you can't do much there. Um, but you know, it's it's the general way I do stuff. Uh, two ounce map UAT. Castle BC uh, pre-programmed or programmed down to uh, 5.2 volts. Um, I got the junction board over here and the Unilite controller behind that. And uh, it worked out really well. I'm very happy. Uh, as far as the weights go, uh, I weighed everything on a Zykoi balancer yesterday. The uh, empty weight of this model with a full UAT is 8.5 pounds. And the EDF version with an 8-cell 5,000 is 9.14 pounds. So basically, this thing's going to land a half a pound lighter than the uh, EDF version. Um, full fuel, it weighs 10.63 um, pounds. So I decided on this one to put in the X60. Uh, I don't think you were going to really gain a whole lot except flight time going with a 45. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I did decide since going with the X60, I've had another pipe in the works and uh, I decided to put that in the model. It's basically about, uh, the bell mouth is 2.2 inches bigger in diameter. And uh, this is a, a standard pipe that I normally use. And so, you know, you can see it's, you know, it's about, uh, I'd say, a little bit over, right around an eighth inch bigger in diameter. So um, I always thought my standard pipe was a little marginal for a, a 60, even though, even since that this pipe is about two inches longer uh, than I normally run. So I wanted to go with the big pipe. I ran it, 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 it runs fine. So uh, we'll see how it works. It should work fine. Uh, let's flip it over. We'll show you a couple things on the bottom. Um, I mean, it's it's very straightforward uh, engine installation. Um, you know, once again, you know the bell mouth is a little bit bigger, which I think works out really well because the uh, X60 is uh, two tenths of an inch bigger in diameter and two tenths of an inch longer than the X45, so uh, I think it's gonna work out fine. As far as the wheels and brakes go, I thought I could just slide on a standard set of JPs or uh, LDTs, but you really can't, because if you don't do a modification here, the uh, the tire is gonna rub up against the outer gear door, okay? Because, you know, you got minimal clearance there, and, you know, I gained about the same amount by mill on the slot there so doing the slot brings it inboard just a little bit to give you clearance so i'm not saying it's necessary but i feel if you don't do that it's gonna it's gonna rub on the uh outer gear door other than that um you know i went with the unilights because i just i just like the unilights so i got spotlights in the front and i got a strobes and navs on the wing tip and the got one on top and bottom of the fuselage and I got one in the vertical. So uh, it should be quick. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, shoot a video at the field tomorrow, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Bye.